<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video today, it's Armand 100. And today, we're back with Splatoon 3, we're going right in. Uh, I saw the, I saw the title of the level and I'm not too excited. The enemy floor is lava, oh, the enemy ink is lava. Uh, funny reference, do you guys get it? The floor is lava? Um, oh, what? Oh, not only is it... Yeah, okay. This is three of the worst things put it together. Wow. So, already, limited ink. And I, I messed up there. Awesome. Uh, what, what am I supposed to do? What? So, so, limited ink, touch enemy ink and you're dead. Um, oh, is it, oh my god, I'm supposed to hit it that way. I thought it was trying to tell me to hit it at the thing. Because it was like bulging out a bit. Um, okay. And there's a timer. I, okay, whatever. Whatever. I'm kind of hoping to see if we can get the rest of the levels done in this video, but this level alone might might just end that end that thought. And look at that. Yeah, no. This sucks. I hate this. Because I see a timer on my screen, and I go, "Oh, panic!" And also, I have to like. Put this in the right direction. If I touch a little bit of ink, I'm dead. Do I hit it there? Yeah, okay. Now we hit it off the wall. Okay. Be trying to be careful. Uh, what's up with this? This sucks. Uh, actually. Make it to the wall. Ah! I felt, I felt like that was like, oh, I can do it. I can do it. Uh, no. Can I, can I make that jump? Oh, you can. Okay, perfect. Uh, what? What? Okay, so that's ink. Okay, gonna collect this. Okay, looked a lot harder than it, it is, okay. Oh, uh, this sucks. Oh, no, that's fine. We got it. Ah. Uh, I hate this. Ah. Uh, it's close. I'm gonna use all my eggs on this. I actually, I guess I don't need eggs. Okay, good, good, good. Maybe if we just wait it out. Yeah. Yeah, okay, we're all good. Oh, we're done. Okay, okay. This is the end. The timer meant nothing, actually. I don't know why there was a timer. Because if you mess up, it's not like you can recover ink. It's not like you're going to waste time to recover ink. No, you're going to die, and then the timer's not going to matter. I don't know. All right. Now I have to do that one ever again, so that's I'm, I'm good with that. Torture tour. 
What a good name to go after that. <laughs> that level. Torture tour? How is this gonna be worse? I mean, this is a hero shot level. This should be fine. Oh, hey. Just sneak attack, sure. Uh, is there a key? Like, what is, what is supposed to be happening? Oh, I see. Okay, sure. Oh, you have to get rid of him, I guess? No, okay. No, I just needed the key. I had to get rid of that dude for the wall to go down, but yeah, whatever. Secret? Secret path? Or is that intended? <laughs> Who knows? Alright. What's, uh, what's up with that? It's just a line. Oh, I'll take that. Give me the, the try. Shoot. And miss all of them. Like I always do. I don't understand why uh, I never get those hits right. Uh, please don't kill me. I want little buddy to do his thing and then... Actually, we can... I didn't know we can do that. I never thought about that. You go up there. Just deal with them for now. And you distracted that guy. That's awesome. I love little buddy. You gotta, you gotta be one of my favorite specials. Subs. Subs. No, come on, come on. There we go. Not very much torture. That was, that was fine. Alright. I like, I like my little uses for a little buddy. Imagine if like, cause uh, we've, we've had uh, story stuff go into um uh online like we've had like the the little gimmicks be the um shifty stations we've had the brella in single player before it was ready for multiplayer is there a chance that we'll end up getting um like some sub that is what a little buddy is like. Because I think that'd be cool. Maybe like a robot little buddy. Uh. Is this just a level where I'm using the roller? <laughs> it just seems like that. Sure, I'm done. I'm done for a, a roller level. Bonk! Oh, that didn't kill both? Whatever. It do doesn't really matter. I am having a bit of trouble with ink. Is there an upgrade for that? Do upgrades even matter for these levels? Because I'm not using, like, the hero shot. I don't know. Maybe that is the thing. Maybe I just I, I just don't have the ink consumption I'm uh, used to, or something like that, because of my upgrades. 
little secret path. I, I found this. Awesome. Sneak attack. You can't get me. Oh. That, I don't think that was intended. I don't, I don't know. That was cool, though. All right. That was cool. Carbon. Carbon, uh... Carbon may have been better for that level. Because there wasn't much, uh, rolling over things and being faster would have been cool. <gasps> Ooh, here we go, here we go. I'm... Mission Fly Fishing. I like the inkjet levels in Octo Expansion. Have we even had an inkjet level in this game yet? Or is this, like, the only one? I think they've been focusing on the other specials, so we just haven't gotten one. Oh, what? Come on. There we go. I actually don't remember. Was Inkjet this slow? Huh. Yeah, it feels a lot slower. Uh, okay. That's... <laughs> Nope, no, 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 go, 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 go. Okay. Yeah, this just feels a lot slower overall. What happened? This seems simple. What is... I, I, I decided to look at the background for a second and I'm immediately confused. What is this? Is it gonna have rows and rows of enemies? I guess, in, in a way, in a way, yeah. Oh, we got the bouncing guys. Uh, please stop. <laughs> please stop, I can't hit any of you. There we go. Can I get the eggs? Oh, that's where we're supposed to go. Was that always open? Because we didn't get a notification that it opened or anything. Final checkpoint? Okay, we just got some stairs up. Octo snipers. Okay. No, thank you. Oh, cool. Oh, I like this. I like this. If I can reach it. I like that, that's cool. A little... Like, yeah, yeah, because, like, if you if you were gonna kill, like, all of them in, like, one hit, you'd think, oh, the, the little pufferfish. Which, yeah, but also pufferfish and the, the roller thing. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I thought it was cool. We got three more? Three more levels? Two more? I can't remember. I thought there was six. It was... Oh, wow. Seven levels? I thought it was six and then the boss. I guess I'm wrong. Time movements? That, I, I saw time movements. What are we doing here? Sloshing machine. Time your movements carefully to reach the goal. Oh. 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 <laughs> Whatever. I don't like levels where I have to wait. Whatever. We're not waiting too much. It seems to be mainly going at the rate I'm moving. Or not. Cool. Awesome. I probably could have actually made that jump if I tried. 
Where, where do I go now? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Jump over here. We're gonna go around, I guess. Yeah, okay, I have to, I have to remember the hitboxes on that, because Sloshing Machine has some tricky hitboxes you can take advantage of. Like, for example, I actually don't think... No, that's not gonna work. Okay. Sometimes you can hit people under a, from under a platform if uh, it's thin enough. Mm, oh, there. I probably could have just done that for the wall. Because that works. Whatever. That wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's do another. This might be a longer video. Just because I want to do... I want to do more. We have two more in the boss, and we have time for at least one of those two levels, and I don't want to leave the next video with just level in the boss. I don't know. It could just be that I, I, do, I, I want to keep playing, and I don't want to stop. Which is, it's most likely that. There we go. I like the combo of a uh, little buddy to burst bomb. What is happening? We're like on an elevator, but like, is it gonna open? Oh, okay. We got a little tower to climb. That's the wrong. That's the wrong sub. Boom. <laughs> yes. I mean, couldn't we just? I mean, I guess that would work, but I think the advantage we get out of Little Buddy is uh, the like distraction that he causes. I like this concept, the level, the the the, the level. That that's a good concept, level concept. Uh, no, uh, the tower, we're just climbing up and there's enemies spawning. What's up here? Is this just the end? We got a little. Okay, we got a, we got a last section. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Sure. That was fun. Yeah. I, I, there's there's one more level. There's one more level, and then the boss. I want to do it. I want to do it right now. So I think I'm gonna. Uh, let's, let's see, what do you got? Some eggs, thank you. And one more. Dive and dash, reach the goal within the time limit, okay. I'm assuming that, um, yeah, yeah, no, no, never mind, never mind. I'll, I'll continue that thought later. Uh, okay, our last level. Aerospray. And on this background. What is gonna happen here? Is this a race? What is... Wait, what? This is just like a little track to go on? I'm down. I am completely down with this. This is awesome. Nah, I was gonna do the jump again. It didn't work out. Yeah, I was I was thinking this squid switch. I didn't know how long the tower was, but I was gonna do it anyway. 
wall. I don't know why I said tower. It's just kind of a wall. Uh, okay, well that, that way seemed better. Oh, okay. Mario Kart 8 moment right there. <laughs> it's, uh, it's literally the part of, um, what track is it? The Mario Circuit? GBA one? Whatever, whatever the GBA one is. Yeah, you'll, you, you know what I'm talking about if you played Mario Kart 8. Like, I feel like everyone's gonna know every Mario Kart 8 stage by now. Oh, I, ah, I missed the jump. There we go. That was fun, I like that. All right. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do, we're gonna go, we're gonna go fight, we're gonna go fight. We're gonna go fight big man. He's the only one left. What are you? Okay, hurry up, hurry up. I'll take that. I'll take a pack of cards. Okay, boss. Oh, and we got lore. Whatever. We can read lore. It's not that bad. Except reading. Reading, reading is pretty bad. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it because I'm bad at it. Is that what you want? Is that what you want me to say? There he is. I see him. <laughs> the flag's moving with them. Hold it right there. It's like a basketball court. <laughs> Somewhat. This treasure isn't yours. You can't have it. I wouldn't fight you if I didn't have to, but it's time for Splatsville. This, this, this is for Splatsville. <gasps> no! <laughs> it's, it's literally... Wait, wait, no way! No way they did it! This is the this is literally the um the the, the Mario the the Mario Sunshine level. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh my god! Like the ink color is even accurate. Oh no way! Oh, I love this. Bonk. Oh, what? Okay, if, if I if I had any, like, specific name for, uh, the... Okay, wow, I think it's that one. <laughs> if I had any specific name for, um, the episode of Sunshine that I did that level. If I named a video after that, that's the name of this video. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go search for that. If not, I, I, I have other names, of course. I don't have any. I'm gonna have to think. This is awesome, though. <laughs> Does, like, the bombs affect him? No. Besides, yeah, of course. He just throws bombs, though. I love that. I love everything about this. The fact they made one of the, like the worst things of uh, Sunshine into a, a pretty cool boss. Awesome. Wow. It was really easy. But that I love that. I really tried too. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> the smoke bomb never ends in their favor. All right, let's go get the last piece and find out what we're even making. A keyhole? Engine? 
Engine. That's an engine. All right, we got some uh, some some sardinium. <laughs> I don't remember what the fish was called. Uh huh. Uh huh. Captain says you crushed it, Agent Three. They also had some choice things to say about Deep Cut. Wouldn't want to be them right now. Eat me. Come in. Do you copy? Gramps, we read you. Not, uh, exactly loud and clear, but we read you. What's up? You okay? What What's happening where you are? Finally got this dad-blasted thing working again. Okay, so here's my report. I'm being held captive by someone or something called them, uh, calling themselves Mr. Grizz. I heard that loud and clear. As for where I am, beats me. But my left knee is aching, something fierce. What means, which means I'm at altitude, I'm at altitude, somewhere high up. Well, that's, that's pretty good hint. That's a pretty good hint. There's only one place that fits the bill, right? Well, well, your injured knee may have betrayed this location, but don't expect any workers comp. Thank you for this, by the way. I won't underestimate the legendary leader of the Squid Beaks Platoon again. I'll just go ahead and deal with you now, before you become an actual inconvenience. Wait a minute. Hey, what's that? What do you think you're doing? Ah. Uh, that didn't sound great for Gramps. Guys, we're coming for you. Stay strong. Just as soon as we figure out how to get uh, how to get to where you are. Do you think some of the stuff we collected might come in handy? Agent 3, why you, don't you take a closer look at it? It might just be our ticket into that rocket. Alright, we're not going to do that yet. We're going to... Uh, how much is this? That's five. We got one. So I'm just going to use that. Spot bombs. Yep. All right. There's there's all the upgrades we're getting uh, before the boss, I guess. And then we got the log. The beings that had emerged from the water soon emerged from the cavern of Alterna itself. From there, they flourished quickly. It wasn't long before they had encountered every every corner of the world. This epic epical epic sure. Event gave great significance to the crater above Alterna and its surroundings, surrounding ter ter territories, now referred to as the Splatlands. The region would, from that point on, be known as the Land of Fresh Beginnings, among the creatures that now thrive on the surface. These newly evolved beings, having scattered themselves ac across the globe, soon gave rise to distinct cultures and unique ways of life. Out of all the species now roaming the earth, squids and octopuses soon distinguish themselves via intelligence and fresh vibes, so to speak. It wasn't long before they became the apex species of the planet. Now, I must fast forward a bit. 5,000 years later, a peculiar individual was born. This squid quickly rose to fame in the Splatlands due to, co uh, due to some unique characteristics. Yes, this individual was embraced as a prophet, gifted with numerous revelations that they shared among their fellow squids. It was another turning point from squ for squid kind. During this period, the foundations for modern cephalopod civilizations were laid. That individual squid is now widely known and celebrated as the pro progen progenitor of, I don't know what that word is, of the modern day inkling. <laughs> okay. Creature. Um, well, <laughs> that's a good way to end that. 
Well, next video, we'll figure out what's happening there and there and probably end off the main story mode. That's it for this video. See you next time. Go join the Discord and goodbye.